Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back to the podcast. It's, yeah, it's officially podcast time. Hope you're doing good. This is episode 199 of the Very Really Good Podcast, which is crazy. Um, gonna uh, gonna be honest, to, uh, episode 200 really, really snuck up on me, and I don't have anything planned for it. Um, so I was at like 195, and I'm like, dude, I got like five weeks. I'm good. And then, um, uh-oh. Looks like I wasn't good, so that's so that's good. Um, but it's all good. We'll we'll figure it out, dude. Um, feels back to be in the studio, dude. Feels good to be back in my. Uh, it f- feels good to be back in the stew. Um, I'm a I'm a big liquid death guy now. I that's that's sort of my new thing. Brought my slippers here. Forgot to put them on. Okay. Um, I'm a liquid death guy now. That's sort of my thing. You know. Um, uh, so sponsor me if uh, Liquid Death. If you're watching, please sponsor me. I really, I, I would. I mean, I'll just buy it. But I, you know, if you want to send it to me, that's cool too. Um, uh, but yeah, dude, it's been a long time since I've been back in the studio, man. It's also been like a while since I've done the podcast. But um, I'm home now for a little or for a while. I'm home. I'm home. I'm, yep. Do you think about me now and then? Do you think about me now and then? Cause I'm coming home again. Maybe we can start again. Also, did you hear about Coldplay doing those shows? And it's like, it's we're environmentally conscious. You power the show. Fuck you. You know what I mean? I paid. <laughs> I mean, I didn't because I'm not gonna go see. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go see Coldplay. Um, the only Coldplay I'm gonna see is Shakespeare. Is fucking Romeo and Juliet in the winter time? Okay, that's the only Coldplay I'm gonna see. All right, a midwinter's night dream. So, but also they have this thing where it's like this. This show is environmentally friendly we we use fucking reusable vegetable oil to power our car which is like i okay and then also they say that it, the the floor that people are jumping on it like powers the show also there's like bikes that you can bike on during the show and hey no mind you again i'm not going to go see cold play but apparently that's like a thing that you can do there and it's like yo that's all well and good, but if I'm paying for a fucking concert, don't make me power this shit. Don't make me fucking be the fuel, you know? Don't make me be the gasoline, you know what I mean? Don't just fucking... It's not on me. It's on you. Put on the show. I gave you money. Oh, now what? Oh, it's for the environment? No, it's for you to save, on, it's for you to save money. Okay, and to, and therefore make more money from the ticket from the from us from us Coldplay fans from us hardcore Coldplay. Fa- or, I mean, <laughs> I'm like outed as, as as Coldplay as a number one fan. Um, but no, it's bullshit, dude. It's bullshit. You can't just you can't do that. Are my feet getting cut off here? No, they're good. Um, but yeah, leave me alone. What? A, <laughs> You know, what if like I did a, a stand-up show and I was like, all right, everybody, um, thanks for coming. You guys, you guys got to write the jokes and then you guys got to say them. Make each other laugh or else the lights are going to turn off and it's going to get real scary in here. You know? And then I fuck it, and then I proceed to walk out with a big bag of money. That's what Coldplay does. So when you hang around the venue for long enough after a Coldplay, Coldplay show, you'll see Chris Martin walk out with a fucking huge bag of gold coins. It's a big white cloth bag with a green dollar sign fucking painted on it, full of gold coins. And he's like, <laughs> another successful show, and it's good for the environment. Uh, Chris Martin always says that shit. Um, I'm trying to work on my posture here, dude. Don't know if it's going well. Um, 
<clears throat> also, do I need my laptop here? No, I'm going I'm to keep it there, though. All right? It is on my lap. It's on top of my lap, and it's warming up my balls, and it feels kind of good. So, um, but yeah, back, <laughs> I'm back a little bit. I'm back home. Um, I don't have any shows for like a month. I don't have any shows for like a month. Don't get me wrong. I've had so much fun doing the shows. I've been so blessed. The, the crowds have been fucking incredible. Um, I'll never forget this summer, but wow. I've done like 46 shows, man. I've, done, I've been to like 46 different cities. So I'm happy to have some time off. Um, I got a month off, okay? Um, and I want to say... This is big news. Okay, guys, this is really big news. Um, All of October, I am taking a break. Okay, this is the first real vacation that I will be going on in four years. And I'm really excited. I'm also nervous because when I don't upload or do anything for a while, I get crazy anxiety. Um... But you know what? I think uh, I think it'll be good for me. Um, you know, I've been go go. Even cause, like I say, real vacation. I've gone on trips. I've gone places. But while I'm away, I'm still editing. Like I'm still working. You know, um, I'm sure I'll still be making like fucking TikToks and shit and posting on Twitter and whatever. But you know, and Instagram and everything. But YouTube and the podcast and stand up, my main outlets. I am. Pumping the brakes a little bit, okay? Um, I'm really excited, man. It's been a very long time, um, and I just want to let you guys know in advance um, that that's going to be happening. So, um, sorry in advance, I won't be making any videos, but I got one more video on the main channel coming, um, hopefully. I mean, it's supposed to be uploaded next week. I haven't started scripting it yet. <laughs> But it'll be up. And then once that video's done, I'm done for a month, okay? And then I'm back like the second week in November after the West Coast shows. Um, So, yeah. Also, I'm going to be out in L.A. during my my West Coast tour. So, I won't be making content on my channel, but I'll probably pop up around the internet and some other people's channels. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, dude, it's uh, it's been a lot, man. Our bus burned down, man. So I need a break. I need a fucking reset. I need to cool down because I, don't, I also don't want to give any more spoilers, but the first half of next year is going to be fucking gnarly too. So that's all I'm going to say. All right? Um... And probably the last half, too. I mean, next year is going to be gnarly as well. So, fucking, um, I'm going to need this, all right? I need this for sure. Um, going on a nice little trip, a nice vacation, a nice break. And I'm, uh, well, not really a trip. It's more of a, it's just a break. Okay, I'm, I'm very excited to not fucking work um, for like a month. It's going to be crazy. And I'm very blessed to be able to do that. So, thank you so much uh, to everybody who watches this, uh, watches my other videos, fucking any anything you do if you came to one of the shows just fucking thank you um because yeah dude we gotta talk about this man i did um i did the biggest show of my entire life um last friday um it was at the chicago theater in chicago um we didn't all the way so it wasn't all the way sold out Okay, the cap is like fucking, what is it, like 4,000, 3,500? We were just under that. We were like a little over 3,000, but dude. I mean, it was it was fucking crazy, man. That was the biggest crowd I've ever performed in front of. It was also like an iconic, like in a fucking iconic venue, like um, Frank Sinatra's like signature was on the wall. He said he had a great time there, which is fucking crazy. John Mulaney filmed a special there. 
Um, I think it was Comeback Kid. Or is it Kid Gorgeous? I don't know. He filmed one of his specials at the Chicago Theater, and it's fucking insane that we were at the... And we were, everything I did, I was like, I was sitting on the couch in the green room. I was like, John Mulaney was here. I was walking down the stairs to do on stage. I was like, this is what John Mulaney did. It's crazy, man. It's fucking insane. Um, yeah, it was a... Uh, I'll go through the whole day, okay? Whole day... He's a whole day on tour, all right? Even though Logan was there, like, recording everything because we're going to make a video out of it, like a little tour vlog that's coming out about it. But um, So, wake up in Chicago because um, we drove from Indianapolis. Yeah, okay, we'll talk about this first. So, we were in Chicago a few days before the Chicago show because uh, it was Jacob's birthday. So, we were already in indianapolis um no they were in indianapolis i was in chicago i flew from chicago for, i flew to chicago from detroit after the detroit show met up with jenna um hung out there for a few days did some shopping just hung out i um, met up with danny and laura hung out with them for a few days um and then jacob and dean came up because they were in indianapolis they came up to chicago for jacob's birthday and for jacob's birthday we got um tickets to see post malone we got floor tickets man it was fucking sick um so we all go to the concert we all have a great time um i was like i like well okay here's the thing this might be the biggest l of all time but i uh i it's not really because i understand it but i i messaged post malone i messaged austin you know my good friend austin uh we hung out like one time fucking two years ago um and we follow each other, but I messaged him and I was like, yo, I'm going to be in your, uh, yo, we're going to go to your Chicago show. Should be a lot of fun. You know, just to throw it out there. Right. And then no response. And I was like, all right, that's fine. I'm not going to fucking pester, you know? Um, but he's also like the biggest fucking star in the world. And he's like a dad now. So, you know, I fucking understand. I, I also am terrible at responding to people that fucking reach out, you know, so I get it. Um, and I'm at the very, very low level compared to him. But So we're like, fuck it. We'll just get tickets and we'll go and we'll see and we'll have, see what's up. And we had a great time. Um, we got fucking shit, fucking shit faced. It was a good time, man. It was it was awesome. Um, that guy can sing, man. And it's like, he's it's like just him up there. Like no band, nothing. Like it's fucking, it's crazy. Um, also, okay. So then the day after the day after that, we got to go, oh, it's Thursday. Yes. Thursday. We have to go to Indianapolis for a show. It's like a three hour drive. So we get a car, pick us up at 10 AM. We're driving for a half hour. And wouldn't you know, uh, well, my headphones were in. And we were just driving, and then we pulled off into, like, this random hotel, and I was like, okay, what the fuck? Are we getting, like, kidnapped or something? Are we going to get fucking, are we going to wake up at a bathtub with our kidneys missing or something? And then the driver's like, uh, we got a flat tire. We have a flat tire, man. And I was like, oh, of course. Of course we do. Should we set it on fire? Should we set this, should we set this vehicle on fire, too? Add it to the list. Add it to the list of burned vehicles on this tour, man. Oh, what happened? Catch on fire? flattened the tire because it was caught on fire so we get out we look there's a fucking like nail or something that punctured it so we had to wait like an hour for the guy to come and like fix it uh and then we finally get to indianapolis we do two shows that night at this comedy club they were super fun the crowd there was fucking sick and then get on back on the bus drive to chicago okay we wake up the next day in chicago um it's like 11 i wake up at like 10 i think I'm like watching TikToks and YouTube videos uh, until like 11 and I get up and, um, you know, I, I got to go shit. So I'm, I asked my tour manager if we can go into the venue yet and use the bathroom. And he's like, yeah, I'll show you. And I figured it'd be like a nice, you know, we're parked right by the door so we can just fucking zip off the bus into the venue, which is how it usually is. Um, but this, I get off, I'm in my pajamas and my own merch and like my slippers and uh will and my tour manager will he's like yeah just follow me and then we start walking and then we start walking we're in this alleyway and then we turn down the main street 
like where the marquee is, where the huge Chicago theater sign is. Busy fucking street. It's like 11 in the morning on a Friday, so it's fucking packed. And I'm in my fucking pajamas and hoodie and slippers and shit. I look like dog shit. And I'm like fucking, okay, thanks, man. <laughs> thanks. Um, walk under the thing. And then this family's like yelling at me for a photo. So, you know, I take the photo with them. And then I realize, I look down, and there's like the biggest fucking toothpaste stain right by my dick and balls. Like right where my dick and balls are in my pajama pants. So it literally looks like I fucking jizzed. It literally, like I hope they never post that picture. Because it. if you met me in Chicago with your family, there's two of you. You're very, you're all, your mom ran after me. You're all very nice. But I'm in my pajamas and a hoodie. And a tour hoodie. And there's a white fucking stain on my pants. Photoshop it out. Okay? It's it's toothpaste, all right? It's toothpaste. It isn't fucking the other sort of paste, okay? Um, So days are off to a, a gnarly start. I go to the bathroom. um, You know, and then we get ready for the day. Uh, shun. Um you know, the producer of this podcast, also the, the former co-host of the Curtis Corner for y'all OGs who remember, uh, Shun met up with us, um, Irvin, um, our friend, or sorry, D, um, they do a lot of artwork for us. They met up with us. Uh, we had this awesome lunch, dude. It was sick. We were filming the whole time because Logan showed up. Um, and then, uh, we all have to go back to the venue for sound check. And man, I gotta send Sabrina a picture of the fucking empty empty venue, but or just Google it. <laughs> um, but that's a big theater, man. It was fucking overwhelming. Cause like we've been playing big theaters. Like the biggest crowd we had was like, I think it was eighteen hundred, and it was in Detroit before Chicago, and it was like that plus twelve hundred people. So it was fucking really overwhelming to see that many seats. Um, I knew it was just crazy, man. We were just getting ready for the show. And like from fucking five o'clock to like from actually like four thirty to seven, me, Jacob, and Dean were a fucking like wreck. Like we were just like glossy eyed, like so fucking nervous, man. Cause we were talk I fucking we've been talking up this show. I hope this is interesting for you guys. Um we've been talking up this show at the Chicago Theater for literally months. Like the day I found out we were playing the Chicago the day we found out we were playing the Chicago Theater, it's all we've been fucking talking about. It's like it was like this light at the end of the tunnel sort of, you know? Cuz it was so far down the line compared to like the June shows and we're like, what's that's all the way in fucking September. That's like not even a real month, you know? Um and it just kept getting closer and closer and it's still even then we were there and we're like it doesn't feel like this is actually the thing, right? Um because we've just been hyping up so much, you know, not to take away from any other cities at all, but like, that's such a huge thing, you know? Um, and so we were just so fucking nervous, but like we had so many fucking homies there, like Danny, Laura, you know, Nick showed up, um, Sabrina, the editor of this podcast, we finally met in person. She's the fucking coolest. Um, and it, I don't know, like it, it was like the best having everybody there and just like chilling and laughing and stuff. Like it made it so much fucking better, you know, cause it's like, Oh, I just got to have fun. You know, um, Jacob goes up, just great. Dean goes up. He does great. Um, and then I go up and dude, that first, like walking out and seeing everybody was like, um, uh, yeah, I, I don't even know how to fucking describe it, man. It was, like, so loud, and there were so many fucking people. Like, it was, like, a sea of people, it seemed like. And it was, like, and it's just so crazy because, like, I kept thinking back to uh, 2017, man. And the la- that was the last time I did a show in Chicago by myself. Like, I did a show in close to Chicago on the Danny and Drew tour. Like, I've, this is the first time I've been to Chicago on my own for my own show since 2017 and the fucking show I did in 2017. I do not know if anybody is listening to this who was there. Um, 
But there were like 30 people. I think I sold 35 tickets and like 30 people showed up. Um, and I still remember, I was still thinking back to that at the time. I was like, this is huge. Like, this is like, this is like a huge fucking show. So, and it's, I don't know if I would have just, if I could go back in time and tell myself that I'd be doing the Chicago theater five years from then, it's like, I don't know, man. It's just fucking, I, I I don't, I, I like, I, I'm not even done processing yet. Like, I feel like once I do, I'm going to have a good, like cry about it. But like, it's crazy, man. I've been doing this shit for so long. <laughs> it's fucking insane, man. I'm doing comedy for almost like 10 years. Like next, yeah, next summer will be 10 years, man. And it's just fucking, I don't know, man. I, I thank you to everybody who came to that show. I don't want to get fucking emotional about it, but it's fucking, it's, 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 I can't, ex- I can't describe it. I literally can't. I just, I'm so grateful to be where I'm at and to have you guys support me and have all my friends that fucking came to the show and they didn't have to. And it's like, every, I don't know. It's just like, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. Now nah, there it goes. I'm going to start fucking tearing up, man. It's, uh, it was lit. All right. It was fucking poggers, dude. It was a poggers night. I felt a lot of love that night. And, um, it was cool. It was cool. It was all right. It was cool. Whatever. Um, but then, dude, I got home and got humbled fucking real quick because, hey, found out I'm allergic to white ink tattoos. And guess if I got white ink in the last tattoo I got? So it's in my skin forever, and I'm allergic. So that's pretty cool. And you know what's even cooler is the fact that the tattoo artist didn't tell me he was going to do white ink. And dude, I saw so many, I saw so many fucking, I tweeted about this and saw so many people being like, come on, man, like, it's not the artist's fault, like, they do that all the time, and it's like, hey, maybe they shouldn't, maybe they should tell you, you know, before they do anything, because I can guarantee you, all my other tattoos, any other artist I've gone to, they've never used white ink, but when he told me after the fact, I was like, uh, okay, I mean, it's too late now, you know? Um, also white ink. Look at me. Look at my, fu- look, look at my complexion. That's like what, that's like, that's like, that's, there's a reason no one uses the white fucking Crayola marker. You know, there's no use for it. The paper's white. You know what I mean? What are we doing? Why are you make? why are you making me do that? Why are you making me, ha- that's, that's doing nothing. You know? I don't know. I mean, fucking whatever. It's fine. I'm sure my body will get used to it or whatever. I'll ba- build up a tolerance, you know? Um, and then caught another fucking took another L today. I was at Walmart, um, getting a new, tri- getting a, a new tripod, uh, because the one that I have here, I lost the attachment for it and I didn't have time to order, uh, one off the internet or I even fucking know where to get them. Um, so I went to Walmart to get a new tripod because they're like 30 bucks there and I'm not going to go to fucking a camera store and spend like 200 bucks for a thing, you know? You know what I mean? So I go to Walmart. Uh, I'm also, I'm, I'm, I'm already there. So I'm going to buy some stuff I need, right? Toilet paper, paper towel, and also forgot to get cucumbers the day before. So I grabbed a couple of cucumbers, okay? Now, was it the most sus uh, shopping cart in the world? Yeah. Of course it was. Two cucumbers, toilet paper, and a tripod? What am I planning on doing later? You know? Going to film something involving a cucumber that's going to get messy, something that needs to be mopped up with some fucking toilet paper? Eh, you know? Disgusting of me to do that. So I'm already like sort of self-conscious, you know? I was going to go look at the fucking Pokemon cards, but I was like, I just got to get the fuck out of here. So I go to check out. You know, I'm going to go self-check out, but I was like, fuck it. Sometimes they don't have plastic bags, and I forgot my pla- I forgot plastic bags. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'll, um, I'll go to the, the regular checkout thing. I'm checking out, you know, I'm paying for my stuff, and the dude behind me is fucking, like, looking at me a lot. So I'm like, it's either I got 
piece of poo on my face or this guy uh, knows who I am or both. Um, so I'm done paying and then he's like, hey, sorry to bother you, you Curtis Connor? And I was like, yeah. And then he was like, oh man, that's crazy. I, <laughs> I could have sworn it was you. And then he said this, I used to watch you all the time. Oh God! Oh God! That was me. That's what I said. Oh God! This was a. Uh, th- this is you. You used to watch me. So I said that I was a joke. I was like, "Used to? What the fuck? What happened?" And then he was like, "No, nah, no. Nah, it's just like, you know, you just take so, you just." There's just so much time between when you upload, you know? I just don't, I just like take so long. Oh! <laughs> Ow! Ouch! So you stop. I get it. I do take a long. I do, I, I do take a long. I do be taking my time, but like, yo, ow though. <laughs> That's a new one. I'm used to the one where it's like, my friend loves you. My friend really likes you. Can I get a picture of my friend? Not me. I do not fuck with you, but my friend like fucks with you heavy. But that's a new one. Someone being like, yo, yeah, I used to fuck with you. Then you switched up. <laughs> then you took too long. <laughs> um, So yeah, I caught a nice little fucking L right there, dude. But you know what? It's all good. You know what? That, that's, that's the thing. You know? That's life, man. Sometimes you do a huge show at the iconic Chicago theater that's owned by Madison Square Garden Entertainment. And then you get home and then you get f- absolutely fucking dunked on at Walmart. Okay? And that's, there's a reason there's a W and an L in Walmart. You know, it's like that, it's the dichotomy, right? It's the, uh, it's the, uh, it's, it's, it's the juxtaposition of life, right? It's, that's what Walmart is. Um, there's also a reason, that's also why there's an, there's fucking two L's in Coldplay. Don't make me go on a bike at your show. Chris, Chris, you know, yeah, we're going to see Chris tonight. That's what you're saying. That's what you're doing. You're going to see Chris Martin. You should say that instead of Coldplay. Yeah, we're going to the Chris show. They're like, what? What? You know, Coldplay, the Chris show. Chris, <laughs> a guy, just a guy, you know, Chris Martin. I should do that for my shows, man. Just put bikes. Fuck fuck seats, man. Put them all on bikes. All right? Power the show. Or if this was the Monsters Inc universe, then it would work. Cuz then if you're if you're laughing, then you're powering the show. Quick little Pixar reference, all good. Um, oh yeah, also the fucking uh, huge news. Hold on. The queen died. Oh yeah. The fucking queen died so hard. <laughs> fucking loser. Loser, L, L queen. Queen Elizabeth stole that. I was telling that joke on stage, but I'm burning it now because by the time I I, I won't get to do it then because it'll be too late. It'll be it won't be current news anymore. So I'm burning that joke now. Okay, Queen Elizabeth. All right, you better be laughing. Um, yeah, I mean, like it's crazy. Yo, one of my teachers from school from college. I say teachers because I did not have professors at my at my college. Okay, it was a it was a glorified clown school. Um, one of my teachers, um, camera died. I'm gonna finish the story and then we'll and then we'll boot it back up and then we'll do the current topical news segment. But my teacher, one of my old teachers at my fucking college, I were on Facebook and she posted the day the queen died. Rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth. Feels like I just lost a grandmother. <laughs> What are you talking about? You don't know her. You don't know her. 
You don't know her. Some old fucking, some old lady that's on the $20 bill. She fucking died. Now you're like, uh, uh-huh. because she's old like my grand. No, fuck her, man. Fuck her. Fuck the queen. Okay. What's she going to do? What's she going to do? Come out of her fucking coffin and, and, and tussle with me? I'd like to see her. Even if she did, I'd fucking, I'd take the queen, man. God, take the, Curtis, take the queen. Like, God save, God take the, I'll kick the queen's ass, man. I'll fucking, I'll give her a royal ass kicking. All right? <laughs> um, God, I hope this fucking view is chill. I don't even know if you can see me on this shit. Um, okay, I'm going to turn that camera back on, and then we're going to go into the topical stuff. All right, guys. Uh, so this week, we got some fucking heat. This is topical shit, man. This is like breaking news, man. Um, so, Adam... Levine. Get ready for this, guys. Adam Levine, lead singer of Maroon 5. Adam, just another guy in a band, you know? We got Chris, we got Adam. What's next? Fucking David, you know? Probably. Dave Dave Grohl, Dave, you know? Guys, guys in bands, man. Fucking, we get it. Um, But Adam Levine, okay? He is in some pretty hot water right now okay they're making a fucking adam soup an adam broth all right so he adam levine if you guys don't know he's been caught cheating he's been caught cheating okay cheating on his victoria's secret model wife which is like, hey, I mean, like, don't, it doesn't matter, you know, how fucking hot your wife is. Don't cheat on your spouse, right? Like, that's like, that's like the main, you know, that's like the, that's like ruled priority number one, right? But, uh, caught cheating and stuff, you know, and people have been coming out with some, uh, some DMs. And they are pretty rough, man. Like, the screenshots of Adam Levine sexting, you know, like, flirting through DMs is wild. Because he's not good at it. Like, he's weird. He's a weird guy. Uh, obviously, because he's been fucking famous for, like, 20 years. He's going to be a weird... He's going to be a weird bastard, for sure. Um, also, their music fucking blows. Like, their first album was good you know is it like songs about jane or whatever like their first two albums were good everything after that fucking blows man they suck all right we'll go we'll read some of these uh these uh conversations holy fuck holy fucking fuck that body of yours is absurd (laughs) okay All right, let's break that. Okay, absurd is like a wild word, you know? Because absurd... I know what he's trying to say, you know? Like, it's that's a great-looking body, but absurd, you know? Yo, your body looks like a fucking Salvador Dali painting, man. You know, like, absurdity is... It's not like a sexy attribute right like does her body have like ears all over it or something it's got like a fucking like shoe coming out of her boob you know the head of a like a chicken you know that body is fucking nuts man it's absurd right it's very avant-garde yo that (laughs) yo she got that she got that avant-garde pussy man she got that renaissance pussy right she got that post post modern sloppy (laughs) She gave me that post postmodern slot, you know? <laughs> that realism. Okay. And then she says, next date, I'll be like, do you want to make out with the devil? Okay. I don't know what that means. I must have missed the other part. Uh, haha. How are you such an hourglass? Hourglass emoji. My God. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Seriously. Fuck. <laughs> Um, okay, so, yeah, he's just, like, thirsting like crazy, and then she sends a photo, can't see the photo, obviously, when he double taps it, and he says, oh, man, 
He says, oh, dude, okay. <laughs> He's, uh, dude, <laughs> I can't even fucking read this. Uh, she sent a picture of herself, I'm guessing, and he said, I may need to see the booty. Yo. <laughs> Big one of those, man. I may need to see the booty. You a pirate, man? Are you a fucking pirate, dude? Arr, I may need to see the booty. Walk the plank if you don't... Sh- I'll make you walk the plank if you don't show me your pussy. Lass. I've got scurvy, so I will wrap me willy. <laughs> Dude. I got to see the booty. Dude, that's crazy. Also, I may need to. Like, he doesn't even want to. Yeah, I'm, I may need to see the booty. I might have to. I don't know. I'll have to check with my people. I'll have to ask around. But just letting you know, there's a small chance that I might have to see the booty. Fuck. And then she said, no boot. So I'm guessing like no booty pick or something. Um, which is good, you know, don't give it up that easy to Adam Levine. Just be Avril Levine, you know? Don't be Adam Levine. Okay, so that dude, I may need to see the booty. That's fucking hilarious, man. Okay, we'll go to a next we'll go to another conversation. Um This one is, I think, to a different girl. I don't know. There's like several girls that are coming forward, but this is says, uh, of course. That is so fucking weird when you said you were tired. I was going to say maybe Mercury in retrograde, but I never said it. Trippy. No fucking way, she says. And then he says, that shit is weird, haha. And she says, damn, I'm a Aquarius and shit's getting very weird lately. And he says, fucking hell. I'm having another baby. <laughs> okay, man. I'm having another baby. Wifey pregnant, and I'm having a boy, and I'm naming him Z. He will be a badass. Like, okay, like, who are these girls you're talking to? I'm having another baby. Wifey pregnant, and I'm having a boy. Dude, he seems like the most, like, cartoon-ass dude ever, you know? Like, the most fucking, like, goofy-ass cartoon motherfucker in Hollywood, dude. I'm having another baby. Wifey pregnant. And I'm having a boy. And I'm naming him Z. He will be a badass. Like, that's what a cartoon man would say, you know? He will be a badass. Like, okay. You guys are just talking about... Mercury in retrograde. And then he's like, anyways, I'm having another baby with my wife. So, does that turn you on? Does that soak you? (laughs) Does that get you soaked? Does my infidelity actually get you fucking absolutely sloshed down there? Does my adultery get you absolutely fucking soaked down there, down below? And the poop deck? Because he's a pirate. All right. We got another one. Dude, this this is another... Okay, my point is correct. Okay, let's go through this one. Watching your ass jiggle on that table will permanently scar me, but otherwise I'm amazing. Okay. Like, what... It, also, these backhanded compliments are insane, right? First called someone's body's... Abs- she, he called someone's body absurd and then saying someone's ass is going to scar him. <laughs> just like can't sleep at night in some padded room and shit in a straight jacket being like I can't stop I can't fucking can't stop thinking about that girl's ass jiggling on a table man okay so he says that he gets the double tap he gets double tapped right no response and then he follows up and says fuck I do anything for it and then this emoji if you guys listen to the audio it's the emoji with the swirly eyes the cartoon swirl, like you know when a cartoon spins around too much, and their eyes get all swirly. That's the emoji. 
He's the most cartoon ass bitch in the world. Holy shit, that's so funny. And then he just keeps going. Because she says, ha, 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 ha. And he goes, I'd buy it a steak dinner and whisper sweet nothings into it. He's talking about a girl's ass. I want to tattoo my ass now. Nate may come to Maui and tattoo me and surf. I need to put some clouds behind the reaper. Okay, I literally don't know what you're saying. Like, he's like a fucking, like, cartoon bear or something. Like, you say one thing, and he's like, yeah, well, I did uh, that. I, yeah, oh, that, whoa. I'm going to get my tattoo. I'm going to get my ass tattooed now. I'm going to go to Maui and surf because my friend out there tattoos. I got to put some clouds behind the reaper, and then maybe we'll go to some dinner or something. I'll put a steak on. I'll whisper sweet nothing to the steak like it's a, your butthole. And it's like, okay, what are you talking about? Adam. Adam, you know? Adam. His name's Adam. He's, a, he's in a band. His name's Adam. <laughs> Guys, don't let a guy named Adam do this, you know? Up in Adam. That's what he says. Every morning. Ah. Okay, what's another? Okay, we got that one. We looked at this one. Is he this one? Okay, we got two more. All right, all right, all right. Uh, send a question mark. And he says, I'm now obsessed with you. And she says, dude, aren't you like married, LOL? And he says, yes, but it's a bit complicated. Stuff gets hard and the vid thing didn't help. Is he talking about like a video that she sent him? Yes, I'm, yes, I'm married, but you sent a video of yourself. It's complicated, okay? This is on you. Listen, babe. I didn't want to cheat on you, but she sent a video of herself. What would you have done in my situation? All right? Uh, and then, okay. <laughs> right after that, he says, I might get away. Dude, he's the most diabolical little little rascal, dude. I might get away with this. I just might. I just might go all the way. If I play my cards right, I'll get out of this whole thing scot-free. <laughs> I might get away. Those are the four weirdest words I've ever seen together. I might get away. <laughs> okay, and then he did one more. Uh, it is... Truly unreal how fucking hot you are. Like, it blows my mind. I mean, I think the same. Seeing you in person, I was like, dot, 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 something fucked. And then he says, you are 50 times hotter in person. And so am I. Ew. Oh, that's gross, man. You're not. I'll tell you that for free. You are not, dude. Ah, fuck. That's so funny, man. I may need to see the booty. Uh, I think, in conclusion, Adam Levine's a fucking weirdo. He sucks. Makes shitty music. Um, And I think he should be marooned on a faraway island for five years. And I'll come back, and maybe he'll have a good head on his shoulders. Um. All right, I think that about wraps it up for episode 199 of Very Really Good. I want to thank you so much for watching or listening. Um, yeah, I should be back next week for episode 200. I'll try to think of something cool to do. Um, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll get Jacob and Dean in here. I don't fuck it. I'll figure it out. Um, but thank you so much for watching. And supporting, coming to the shows and everything. It's been incredible. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit. And uh, yeah, check out the Patreon if you want some bonus episodes. Uh, I think I'm going to record a quick one over there right now. Because um, it's been a little bit. So go check out the Patreon. Uh, support, you know, if you want. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Take care of yourself. And uh, I'll, see you, I'll see you later. Peace.